Got a quick video for you today. Pro Tools 2024.10 came out this week. I've got it installed. I'm still doing some preliminary testing on this to make sure that it really is as stable as I hope it is. So far, everything has been working good. Just wanted to show you really quickly what are the new Atmos features in here. And there really aren't that many. So this is going to be a quick video. The biggest change is now we have the ability to solo speakers in the internal renderer. So if you want to just listen to like the left top front in a 714, you can click solo on that. If you want to add all of the top speakers, you can do that. You can option and click to clear those solos. The only thing about that that I'm noticing is if you solo like an ear level speaker and then one of the height channels, because the solo feature here, it is latching. If I do option click on that solo, like this one right here, it only clears the ear level. So I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. Uh, I guess it depends on what you think about it. Where would you use this kind of solo behavior? For me, it's not something that I really need to do much while I'm mixing. I like doing this when I'm listening to other mixes from other people to check out, you know, what are they doing in the hike channels? What are they doing in the rears? So this feature probably, depending on how you've got everything set up, it's not going to help you with that because this is just internal in Pro Tools. Where this could be useful, though, is if you are trying to troubleshoot something and you know, in most cases, you can tell when you're mixing an Atmos, you know, where did you pan everything? But where this could come in handy is if you're hearing something in a strange place, in a strange speaker, maybe you have some kind of an effect return or some kind of a, like up mixing plugin or something is doing something a little strange and you're trying to track down exactly where it's happening. If you solo the speakers, it might make it a little easier for you to figure out exactly what is causing that weird sound so you can track it down. So could be helpful for that. The only other change in this version of Pro Tools is for the trims and down mixes. If we open that window here, we'll go to the gear icon and then open that here through the renderer. You have to do this through the renderer. Now this window, it's a floating window. I, I think it was a floating window before, but the change is now we can play back and we can change things on the fly. So if we want to hear what different trim and down mix settings do to our mix, we can change things and listen to the down mixes in real time and decide what sounds better that way. I typically prefer direct render with room balance for this 5151X fold down, but you know, check it in real time now because you can flip back and forth between direct render and direct render with room balance. This is something that I think we could do in the external renderer originally, and now we can do it in the internal one as well. So that's it. That's the new features for Atmos in Pro Tools 2024.10. I hope that they can get personalized HRTFs in here, uh, hopefully sooner than later, maybe in the next version. But a couple of cool little features for Atmos in the new Pro Tools. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.